In your multicultural spotlight, people living near a restaurant shut down by the health department are looking for even tougher consequences. The Jordans on the Far East Side had been an answer for families in need of food options in that neighborhood. And community members tell News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey this is an example of how low-income communities are often ignored. Outrage, that's what many people are feeling just standing out here. I've had several people yell from their car saying they were upset about what happened, but with others showing concern about how this impacts some of the lower income folks in the community. The video itself says a lot, but longtime Far East Side resident Jamie Gonzalez puts her feelings into words. Unbelievable. I don't know who would be that nasty. And says it's tough to think about what else might be wrong, hitting even harder knowing the business had multiple violations with the Marion County Health Department. But this that we saw, I don't know how it went on that long. The restaurant was closed when the health department visited Monday, but violations outside, along with complaints, forced them to shut it down. And I'm going to work on with Councilor Jackson getting this place, not with another smack on the wrist, closed down. Goodbye. City County Councilor Lakeisha Jackson says after the conditions came to light on camera, constituents began coming forward saying they'd been sick after eating here. These conditions deplorable to feed our children, our babies, our community, our families, food off the ground as if although they were animals. She says this community near 42nd and Post has long been considered a food desert, so access to quality food can be challenging. And for families who use EBT support, places like this help provide a warm meal. If this wasn't an underserved uh, area, this was in Carmel, Fishers or somewhere, I have no doubt that they wouldn't even try uh, the foolery that they did and have been doing. The community rallying around the issue is a step, she says, but still can't shake the thought about what area mothers must be feeling. But the crying of mothers more than anything I think got me. Um, to know that you fed your babies food off the floor with mice eating out of it and that they, they were okay with that. There's still no word yet if and when the restaurant will open back up or if the community will welcome them back. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.